Hi everyone! So I'm just back from my induction for my placement four and um, it went really well so I'm really happy with that. I'm starting placement tomorrow so I'm just going to be filming a video telling you all about how I prepare for placement, the nerves I feel before, how I deal with it, what I do to prepare and things like that. So my induction consisted of um, uh, one of the community nurses because when my next placement is in the community so she was explaining how um, this placement will be very different to my previous placements because they've been in an acute hospital setting while this one's in a community placement so going into people's homes um, and how it will differ and what I can do differently and then we got training on how to use the system that I'll be using sorry I'm holding the camera um, and the system that I'll be using in the community and how it differs. So I'm just checking in to say my first day went really well and it actually counted as a full day of placement, well, seven and a half hours. Um, one of the main differences between this placement is I won't be doing long shifts, hopefully. Um, my Where I'm going for a placement in the community, it actually does do 14 hour shifts. But I've decided with my mentor that I'm going to do Monday to Friday, hopefully, well, five days a week, um, 8 to 4 p.m. instead of 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. three days a week, just because I think that will suit me better, because I find long days really tough, especially 14 hours. I can do 12, but 14 is a bit too much. Um, so hopefully that will be one of the main differences as well, because I've never actually done five days a week. I've only ever done max four and normally three long days so we'll see how that goes and i'll check in with you later when i'm preparing tonight getting my uniform ready and the food i'm gonna bring so see you soon it's the night before i start placement and i've just come back from the gym i went to the gym because i was actually feeling quite anxious um i still am really nervous i don't know if you can tell it's kind of all hitting me now i'm like i'm starting so soon um I can feel like my heart rate going a bit fast and yeah I just want to get started but I'm going to show you quickly everything that I'm going to pack with me to bring tomorrow to placement. Tomorrow's my first day of placement and this is my placement four so my last placement of second year so it's quite scary and as I said it's in the community so very different to the cute hospitals I've been in. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to pack tomorrow in my bag and just I'll show you that I laid out my uniform so it makes tomorrow really stress-free, hopefully, and super easy. I have my notepad to take notes. I have my iPad just in case I need it. My travel cup in case I want a hot drink in the morning. My keys to get in my house. And then this is my lunch, which I wanted to show you. So bear in mind my... Um, shift is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm having um, Thai sweet chili lentil cr crisps. I'm having this focus, this rice cake, um, chocolate orange bar, an orange, an apple, and then down in the fridge, I have a tuna sandwich. So that's going to be my lunch for. Um, my shift from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I have my purse in case I need to buy anything and then my pink backpack which you might have seen. Then over here I have my uniform laid out with my trousers underneath and my fob watch and my ID badge there. So guys that's everything. Let me just... So that's everything that I'm gonna bring to placement tomorrow. I've was in the library before I went to the gym and I basically did all the online stuff I need to do before I get to placement. In my induction today I got my password and username for the um, uh, login that this trust I'm going to use is and yeah I'm gonna have a nice long shower, relax, get into comfy pyjamas and watch a tv show before getting a really good night's sleep. I have to be up at 6.45 which is actually not too bad at all and I'll leave my house at quarter past seven for an 8am start. It's a 30 minute walk from here to my placement 
so I'm going to give myself 45 minutes to walk just because it's my first day. Um, I probably won't be as easy as eager every other day but for tomorrow I definitely want to be on time just so I know exactly where I'm going. Bye! Wish me luck! Hey guys, so I'm walking through the park now to get to my placement. I'm about 10 minutes away. I think I've walked far too fast and um, I'm going to be really early. I'm quite nervous but um, not too bad. It's such a beautiful morning. Um, as you can see, the sun is rising behind me. Um, yeah, so feeling nervous but excited to make a good first impression and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hello, I'm just finished for today. So I'm walking home. It went really well. Um, I visited seven patients in total um, with my buddy mentor and a different nurse. So that was really nice. And yeah, I'm really happy. Hello, so I'm back from placement. Um, I'm back at like two or three hours now and I just kind of want to debrief on the day to show you kind of before, middle of placement and after placement on how it went and how I'm feeling. So overall I had a really good day. Um, as I said I saw six or seven patients and obviously it was in their home so I'd never actually seen patients in their homes before so that was really different um, and the first few homes I felt really awkward because I didn't really know like my place there because obviously I was with a registered nurse and they kind of did most of the talking because they knew it was my first day and that I wouldn't really like know much about how they do pathways and how they do assessments and stuff so I kind of took a back seat which it's kind of strange for me since I'm placement four up until now I've had quite a lot of responsibility um, in the wards like I've been taking my own group of patients my own singular patients and stuff so going from taking patients by myself to not really doing much um, is a bit of a change I know it's my first day so I'm probably being like a bit ridiculous but that just made me feel kind of I just wanted to do more so I can't wait to get stuck in tomorrow with actually doing assessments and patient care and observations. I did some observations today and I went out with the physio as well which is really interesting and did exercises with people but I can't wait to do more. Um, yeah I found the community really interesting, I love the diversity of it, you never know what you're going to get next so that was really good and yeah overall i'm excited for this placement uh, i'll keep you updated with more vlogs hopefully throughout this pla placement if you like this video please like uh, like the video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos bye see you soon